Hey guys, welcome back to All About You. I uh, actually have a pretty nice, interesting video for today. I'm gonna be talking about the Dragon Ball Super CCG or TCG in this matter. This game is gonna be pretty much a big hit considering that there was a lot of Dragon Ball fans and Dragon Ball Z fans that uh, sadly, unfortunately, lost their Panini game. Their, you know, score. I mean, DBZ has been going down through so many different hurdles because the game is great, the anime is great, manga is amazing. You know, we we all love we all love Dragon Ball Z. We all do. You know, and. It's unfortunate that it has been an on and off stage. It's been going through many cycling periods where it's doing very well, and then it kind of has like a crash, and then it starts doing well again, and then it crashes, and it's like, it's just a back and forth, you know, dilemma. And unfortunately, you know, when Score originally had DBZ, it was cool, there was a lot of OP stuff, you know? And as we all know, we, all, we love overpowered cards, but it does affect the game in a negative light in many occasions and um, and you know this just, there was just a lot of uh, overall um, improper management when it came to the game and unfortunately the company also you know was kind of a sellout at the time but um, anywho you know Panini was able to you know pick up where they left off and came out with a bunch of really nice cards and unfortunately, they ended up passing the torch back to Bandai since Bandai is the, the king of, uh, of DBZ at the moment. And now we have Super coming out, which you know you guys already have been seeing different updates uh, due to Aaron Hernandez and uh, his Mr. Waffles uh, YouTube channel. And uh, you guys have seen variations of other you know former players from this game. And now we have a completely new polished up game created by Bandai which so far so good you know there's a lot of cards that came out that um, are debatable in terms of playability and in, and also in terms of being a little overpowered but that's fun you know it, it is fun when you do have um, clear-cut good cards because at least you already have an idea of what you're gonna want to experiment with and then there's a lot of other low-key cards so you gotta remember you know um, not everything is etched in stone and there's going to be a lot of playtesting for all of us. And I wanted to let you guys know that um, I am a former Naruto CCG player, former Bleach player and Yugi as well. I went pro in Naruto, you know, won Shonen Jumps and topped many events when the game was alive and bright. And fortunately, it's a Bandai game and that was their, their, that was their most successful game. So I'm just giving you guys a little background on what Bandai is about, you know, they, their organized play was very good for locals. So expect this for DBZ. DBZ will have good organized play, even if they're a little unsure of how they want to go about it, since it's obviously a new staff. It wasn't the same staff that, you know, uh, participated with Naruto. Additionally, uh, we are going to be looking, you know, forward to a big player base because it is Dragon Ball Z, and as we know, Dragon Ball Z is iconic for what it is. One of the biggest animes in history, as we all know. And it's an enjoyable, you know, it's just an enjoyable series altogether. So having a card game that can display a lot of attributes from the show, and that can also work well in mechanics. Right now, the mechanics for DBZ Super is pretty good. You know, after thoroughly looking at it, we can see that the you know the US version is completely different from Pan version, which means that it's gonna be better in terms of how the game flows. You know, because I I originally took a look at the Japan way of playing and I wasn't too fond of it. I didn't even know if I was gonna play um, this game because I'm a very competitive player, as some of you already may know, and in every game that I'm, I participate, I usually dominate it. You know, um, I'm, I'm just that kind of player. So this is an opportunity to join another amazing franchise and actually become part of the community. I, I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys at events. I reside in New York City. Aaron, you, you and me, we already spoke a little bit. So, 
you already know. You already know what time it is when that game, when everything is released. We'll definitely be playtesting, and a lot of you guys may not know me, but you will know me once the uh, tournaments start occurring. I have a team called uh, Team Allies, and currently we have been doing a lot of organized play for Naruto. Unfortunately, Naruto the CCG is a discontinued game, but nonetheless is an amazing game, and the community is strong at a little over 2,000. You know, we have uh, almost 2,000 people in our Naruto Facebook group page, and then we also have others on like my YouTube channel that I get to, you know, speak out to and communicate with on a, on a weekly basis, even sometimes daily. So, with that being said, you know, expect a lot of great things from this game coming out and also expect a lot from the community because you guys are gonna have a lot of people joining in from different games, different card games. There's a lot of Pokemon players interested in Dragon Ball Super. There's a lot of Naruto players. There's a lot of Yugi and, you know, it, it's gonna be very good. And as you guys already know, you have a lot of DBZ fans that are gonna be coming back. You guys played Panini, you guys played Score, and now you're gonna be playing Bandai's variant of it. And just expect the card quality to be very good because Bandai has been one of the best in terms of when they deliver, when they deliver quality, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, that's all I can really much say, pretty much say. Um, other than that, I wanted to just touch up on a few cards, you know, that I particularly like, which is, you know, the Genyu, the Genyu deck, the archetype, seems very powerful and it's something that I will definitely like to make very competitive in, in gameplay. And uh, there is the red. I, I've been fond of red so far and uh, expect me as one of the players to definitely do some wrecking with that. Uh, as we all know, we have a lot of different archetypes, like we have Broly, we have Goku, Vegeta, you know, we, 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 have, we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of cool guardians, um, at least that's what I would like to call them, and it, it's going to be very interesting, you know, nonetheless. And like I said, there's a lot of players coming into this game that came from different backgrounds of CCGs, so it's going to really create a nice, diverse, organized play. Uh, once Bandai figures out exactly how it's going to go down. And of course, as a community, we should definitely help them, you know, just like Aaron and Elsher and a few others that have already contacted them and spoken with some of the representatives. You know, that's all you guys have to do. You know, keep it going. Make sure that you're speaking out and reaching out to these player uh, people that are right now working diligently at this game. And we got to, as a community, we have to make sure that this game does well. You know, it's not just up to the company, but it's up to the players to make sure that this game is going to stay around and it's going to grow and get strong and we can expect some huge tournament outcomes from it. A lot of CCGs like Naruto when Bandai first started it, it exploded. You know, Naruto started off really strong. It started off having a few hundred players in just regular Shonen Jumps. I guess you would call them Shonen Jump equivalents. Uh, there were rankings just like in the Naruto, you know, show. So you had like Jonin and Chunin and you know so on and so forth, but um, it started off very strong and it was going on for the game lasted over seven years. Unfortunately, it ended up coming to a stop in uh, 2013, you know, and uh, it was you know it was a little heartbreaking because a lot of players really loved the game and that's why right now we're still keeping it alive. There's actually a lot of events going on, so if you guys would like, I'm gonna leave a link. Uh, to the Naruto Facebook group so that you guys can take a look at it if you might be interested in playing more than one Bandai affiliated game which I believe that playing DBZ and playing Naruto would give you guys a, a very good edge overall in understanding how each of these CCGs will become an impact you know, in, in a lot of tournament play and uh, as you may know Scott Dashi and a lot of us were actually transitioning from Naruto into DBZ Scott Dashi has already been a DBZ player from the beginning, so he, he's been doing his, his homework. And, you know, expect a lot of competitive events because, you know, I plan on kicking a lot of ass. You know, that's what I do best in card games, so I'm um, just giving you guys a little head up, a heads up when you see me at events. Most players can, that already know me, you know, can already vouch for me, but I don't need anyone to do so since I'll just prove it at tournament gameplay. 
but um, overall, there's just a lot of stuff going on, and I'm glad to be a part of this community, and I hope that we can grow as a whole. This channel, All About You, the name actually will be changing sometime soon. I will definitely give an update on that, but expect this channel to be based off of Super, the Naruto CCG, and multiple card games to come. It's gonna be more of like a CCG mastered uh, channel, YouTube channel. So, you know, just expect a lot of great things and I'm gonna bring you guys the best and expect a lot of content and I'm gonna help you guys get better at the game. You know, I've definitely, uh, that's one of my perks. I've been always good at CCGs. My mind works in, in that way. You know, it's just, I've always been like that. So, um, it's gonna be exciting. I, I can't wait to like really go in. And this is, uh, it's been a pleasure as always. And you guys wanna see some really cool content coming soon since I also have the starter decks coming in, in the mail. Uh, so they should be in this week. You should subscribe, like, and comment to this channel. And uh, again, as always, this channel is all about you.